Hey guys, Zed Productions here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm taking a look at this gorgeous 2023 Mercedes-Benz AMG G63 4x4. I do have the keys to this thing. Let me pull them out of my pocket. This is what the key looks like. It's got AMG on the bottom, panic button, lock, unlock. This is what the back looks like, AMG logo. Huge shout out to Joe from Mercedes-Benz of Reading. His contact information will be down in the description below if you're interested in purchasing this. Or any Mercedes for that matter of fact. If you want that two-tone Maybach, link in the description. Go check him out. Thank you very much, Joe, for making this happen. Well, let's take a look at that G-Wagon. So this is how you lock. Mirrors fold in. Let's unlock this. Look at those gorgeous DRLs. I think this is one of the best looking cars in the world, especially SUV wise. Gorgeous round DRLs, AMG badging right here, three pointed star, front facing camera, huge metal, full metal push guard, or brush guard rather. You have your full LED headlights inside. So your turn signals with the Mercedes Benz logo. Carbon fiber on the wheel wells. Pirelli Scorpion tires. And it just locked itself. The V8 by Turbo AMG. Let's take a look at these mirrors folding out. With cameras underneath. Huge sidestep. This has so much ground clearance. AMG exhaust tips. Quad exhaust. Two on this side, two on that side red brake calipers look at these massive massive wheels this is me for example goes right up to my waist this thing is actually insane more carbon fiber tail lights g63 four by four squared amg just open this of course it just locked as i want to open it Gotta be careful, don't wanna hit this back here. But look at that, you have quilted leather right here. Look at this bank vault style door lock that goes right into this. This thing is insane. Now listen to this. Whole thing shook with that. But that's how you're supposed to close these doors. Otherwise, they don't close. Let's get inside show you what this is. Make sure it's unlocked. Push this in. Take it out. There's no smart key uh, just due to these insane door locks and the door handles. It's, it's all good heavy duty plastic. You have to push this in and take it out like a safe. Getting in here is going to be a challenge. Let's put the keys Right on the center console. Let's show you this door. Burmester sound system, which I'm sure sounds insane. Got your seat controls along with memory seats, heated and cooled. Door locks, window switches, and your lock itself. But let's climb up. Let's get inside of this thing. AMG on the door. solid doors see if we can get some lighting in here and that is the lighting looks really cool look at that animation play that one more time mercedes always goes crazy with their lighting let's see if we want to lock it where is the lock i just saw it there it is right there do you hear that very loud door locks. Let's keep this unlocked. This is your gauge cluster. We're gonna turn this on in a second. Let you guys hear this. Okay, so foot on the brake, engine start stop.
thing sounds insane. Let's take a listen to that exhaust. turn this off because I don't want it to idle for too long but uh, we can turn on accessory mode so we can actually see the infotainment and see all this gorgeous ambient lighting everywhere and like I was saying it does have a digital backup camera because look at that spare wheel back there AMG seats a little ashtray down here this closer that's carbon fiber your diff locks right up here ventilation gorgeous steering wheel with paddle shifters which is really cool your lighting controls down here your e-brake pedals of course your center console split opening j63 4x4 grab handle Like it's low on fuel. And is this not a touchscreen? It does not appear to be a touchscreen. But yeah, all your basic normal stuff, you know. It does have a sunroof, which the shade opens up like this. Really nice plush seats. Let's go take a look at the back seats. Let's see how this thing is in the back. Really like the door openers. Very much of a challenge to get in and out of this thing. But look at the interior. Look at all this lighting. Looks beautiful. Window switches. You have cooled seats back here, not heated seats. Or you have heated seats, sorry, not cooled seats. And ventilation down here. Climate control, fan speed, temperature, all that good stuff. Pretty good legroom. Uh, it does touch my shins, so not the best, but this isn't like, even though this is a huge car, it's not meant for having great legroom. Some storage in the back too that you can't really see too well, but I already showed that in the beginning. But really nice plush leather seats, really good room back here. Let me know what you guys think of this car. Is this worth almost 200 grand? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Again, if you have any questions or inquiries on a Mercedes-Benz, go hit up Joe from Thomas Auto Mercedes-Benz of Reading. Thank you.